Hey, it's Tim, Pickup Truck Plus SUV Talk, and in this video, it's all about towing. I had I was at Forge Proving Grounds driving the new 2023 Ford Super Duty, and I put all my towing stuff together because I had like an hour and a half of footage. So you had three videos today on this truck, off-road, new technology, and towing. Now, I had a massive amount of technology issues shooting this video. My camera just it wasn't very good. So um, I luckily, the Ford engineer stepped up. They grabbed my phone, and there's a lot of footage I'm going to share with you. I'm going to show it anyways. It may not be as primo as you expect from the channel, but it's what I got. And you want to watch closely for the towing experience, towing 40,000 pounds. That's like riding a bucking bull. <laughs> it was really something. I don't know I do it all the time, but it was really kind of an interesting ride. And really interesting what they've done with the towing technology in the 2023 Ford Super Duty. So sit back, relax, pop top, and enjoy the videos on towing. And watch me go, uh, uh. Ooh, key. Yep, so XL, so uh, get a key if we go into an STX, I believe. Yeah, starts. Yeah. Just on the uh, bare uh, base trims here, so. Yeah, uh, you offer an XTS package on the XL? Yeah. Yes. That was a very experience. popular. It is. You know what I was thinking the other day? It's like, I, I like the STX. It's a cool little package. Some people were talking about that on the channel, and so I went to my dealer and found one, and that's been one of the most popular half ton videos because right. we never get them in a press fleet. I mean you can get a, you can get LED headlamps now on an STX. Yeah. You get 20 inch wheels on an STX, you get fog lamps, you get all the appearance items on an STX. And to, between you and me, I actually like the cloth seating better than I like some of the leather seating. Yeah. Especially in the higher trim levels that leather's gotta take a while to break in. Right. And the I had a uh, 21 F50 power boost with cloth and heated seats with okay. cloth. That was awesome. <laughs> It's personal preference, right? Yeah. And you can't fault people, but hey, you still get your 12 volt power points. We have USBs, USBs everywhere. Um, eight inch screen now is standard as the base screen. So we have some towing features here. This truck doesn't have a lot of features, right? It's all about keeping the weight off it for towing. So if we're going to towing, we have our, you know, we can do a trailer light check. Checks. You've seen this already. I think you've seen all of this, the uh, connection notification, sway control. Yep. There's maintenance that pops up. And you've seen this before, right? Yep. But it's now, it's not in the cluster now. Now it's in the sync screen, as we call it. So you got your gain, you got your connection alarm. So if something happens to the trailer, it alerts you that, hey, you know, trailer's potentially going to fall off. Yeah. Uh, we also have on here trailer maintenance. So on the... Uh, we have our disclaimer, but the trailer maintenance here, we went through and we picked many of the, uh, or maybe probably all of the uh, common wear items within the trailer. So we have bearings, axle seals, springs, many suspension points on trailers, the brakes that you can um, program here for maintenance intervals, uh, depending on your types of brakes, it's either hydraulic or electric brakes. You have brake lines, lug nuts, uh, wheels, uh, making sure that you keep grease on your wiring connector, and then you can also go in here and add your own custom reminder. If oh, you wow. Have something specific to your trailer, whether it's your camper, maybe fill up your propane tank every couple right. of weeks, sure. or months, whatever it is. So, allow you to add a custom reminder, but you can go in here too. Like, so we'll just look at our wiring. So, the way that this is set up is right now it's telling you in three months from now, so you can go anywhere from three to 24 months when you initially set it up. It's pre programmed for you based on where we think the common and service intervals are. So that's something kind of cool. Yeah. Um, we go up here, it's actually out of here, and I have to hit, I don't know if it's right there. Um, within trailer trip right here, another cool little tidbit is it's tracking your trailer distance. So if you give it to, I'll make up a name, Bob. Bob right. borrows your 40,000 pound gooseneck. Um, probably can't tow it with his other Chevys or Rams, but. And you have a lot of trust in Bob. Right, you Bob's, have a lot of trust. <laughs> Bob's a good, dear friend. <laughs> Anyways, so Bob takes your trailer, he puts 400 miles on it. So you could go in and manually edit this and say that your trailer now has 609 miles, and it would allow you, it would calculate all of your maintenance intervals based on the trailer mileage that it accrued with another truck. Ah, I see. I see. So if you load your trailer away, you don't lose the maintenance exactly, intervals. Right? Exactly. It could go thousands of miles with somebody else on a. Right. Instead trailer. of you going, okay, I got to take that number plus a thousand. Right. You have it. Yeah. And the other one here, too, is it says reset trailer fuel economy. So if you look, it's not up. I'm going to invade your personal space. Yeah, sorry fine. about that. Uh, it should be, oops, right here. So this is your trip. Um, display on our um, analog screen. So sure. This is our base screen. You see how it has a uh, trailer next to the fuel pump? Yep. 
what that indicates is that is your trailer specific distance till empty and that is based on the trailer this specific fuel, fuel economy, economy. So divided is, by how many gallons it yeah exactly so this is calculating the fuel economy that you have with this trailer on the route you're taking so say you're driving this truck unloaded this truck will probably get 18 miles per gallon close unloaded maybe a little more a little less and then you go hook up to a trailer it takes some time for the truck to realize that there's a trailer to it and it could tell you that hey you have 420 miles till empty with no trailer and it could it could change the way you drive your route so right. this right here is a trailer specific fuel economy to help you um, plan your route based on your distance till empty okay so in there there's all some other trailering stuff in here but why don't we just go drive right and i think the truck will speak for itself as you get out there. oh we have to drive it yeah that's <laughs> the best part right so let's make sure that our exhaust brake is on yep okay so it's on automatic so i'm going to put it on on I don't, the grades are uh, shorter here, so we'll just give you max engine braking with that 40,000 pound trailer. So you're good to rock. Okay. So you got standard, every every Super Duty pickup now has standard trailer brake controller. We have our drive modes. It's, you're already in tow haul, a little trailer there. Sure. Uh, if it was a four wheel drive, you have your four wheel drive um, buttons there to indicate. If you want to go into manual mode, you press the manual button. It's at the stock now. Where our drive modes used to be, now you press M to get into manual, manual mode. And you can also you can lock adjust your top gears your, if you want. Sure, on the on the shifter. Yeah, okay, that's, uh, that's generally carryover. What's your uh, what's your feeling on trailer brake gain? I always like. I mean, it's like zero to ten. I always do five, just out of five's habit. Five's usually a good start point. But that's right? yeah. And as the trailer starts to wear, then you can crank it up a little bit. Okay, is that kind of what you find? Yeah. Yeah. So I don't. Somebody else was in here before, so we can just show right where we at. We're at five right now. Yeah. So I guess. There's, Exit right there at that stop sign. You're gonna turn left. Okay. So you get a little uh, scenery. So this is one of the highest points here in Southeast Michigan. Oh really? Yep. And you're clear going to the left. What does it sound I mean? It just sounds mean. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So this is the other thing. So you're going down the hill. Yep. And so the game. So where is the stop? Somewhere down. So I want to do the stop going down a seven degree. This right. is a little bit more than seven right here. Okay, so let's say we get them down and there's a stop sign. So I'm on the brakes. And it's wet roads. And I'm not sliding. And we turn the brake gain down, right? A little right. bit, so. And that's it. That's pretty cool. That, I mean, that's, for what diesels used to be, where they came from and where the trucks have come from, to be able to stop 40,000 pounds down the hill, wet roads, without sway, Perfect, yep. Alright. That should work fine. I can keep going if you want. Yeah, actually what we should do if I I'll keep filming yeah. and you can just talk and edit yeah, it yeah, later. Yeah. So oh, look at that, you're handy. So then we're turning, handling. Right. Brakes I mean, I'm not even touching the brake. About thirty six hundred RPM or so. Yep, and it's coming back down. And you just I mean Yeah. It's crazy how much the capability these trucks can have these days and how much you can do with them versus what, again, what used to be. Used to be was not, though. This was a lot like, ah, you know, 20 years ago, oh my gosh. And now it's like, I'm doing it. Go straight. And I'm gonna, you know, come to a stop. And I think I think that's the thing that, that always gets me is it's not just the offline power. Like, this is full throttle. It's not just about that with all the, the torque and the horsepower. It's the stopping aspect as well. It's, it's towing confidently. And uh, yeah, I mean, I got a lot of weight. You can, you can feel me moving a little bit in the cabin. You feel the truck moving a little bit. Right, it's 40,000 pounds. <laughs> you know, it's like, come on. Go to the left. So this is part of our durability route right here. So the roads are a little bit rougher, okay. but this is obviously nowhere near as severe as what we get on our durability. Some of our roads are so rough that we have automated machines drive them for us. So you have automated like self-driving vehicles here that will do the durability. We have one called Silver Creek that's just a torture test of the truck. So are you saying that Michigan roads aren't the most ideal? This is ideal. This is like yeah. This is <laughs> just like a typical Michigan road right, right here. Right. Yeah, I mean, I, you know, I don't know that you're towing 40,000 pounds every day. I think that might get a little old, but this could, it can handle it. It's such a machine. So you're going to 
go off up here to the stop sign and it's going to veer off to the left. Okay. So we've made some improvements also in the ride as far as uh, our shock tuning goes for 2023. We've brought in uh, some new shock architecture which smooths the rides out uh, on all pickups. So F250 all the way up through F450 pickup. Um, you really appreciate it when you're driving uh, both loaded and unloaded. If you haven't done the unloaded route yet, I think you'll notice the plushness that we've brought into the truck. Yeah, uh, I would specifically say unloaded. It, it, it rides better. Um, you know, you still got a solid front axle. You, right. still got the, you still got the strength that you want for this truck, right? You don't want to give that up. Um, but yeah. It's just such a workhorse. <laughs> yeah, this, this one right here is all about work. Yeah, this is, I mean, you buy this for a specific job. This is, you need this, you're hauling uh, bulldozer, you're hauling something that's in the way, kind of bulldozer. Hot shot tower. Five super duties, there yeah. we go. <laughs> yeah, hot shot tower for sure. This is, well, definitely a hot shot truck. Not an expensive, not a tough grade here, but throttling, downshifting. Yeah. So we're going to go down the grade a little bit so you can get your speed up here. You can slow down whatever you want to do, and I'll go back up another grade. Okay. Yeah, this is. Uh, so on the brake going down. That work is just impressive, right? And then foot on it. This is 40 miles an hour. Then to the top, yeah. And this is this is interesting. This is the most weight I've ever towed. And I'm not freaking out, right? I'm not stressed out. I'm not, oh my gosh, I can't handle it. I mean this is this is doable. Right. We had one time during our development trip, I was driving this truck doing 70 miles an hour down the uh, Ohio Turnpike and I had a coffee in my hand and drive. It's just so easy, it's so yeah. comfortable. Yeah, it's it's uh, the seats are comfortable, which is a huge issue for me. I apparently got a sensitive butt, I don't know. Um, but the seats are comfortable, this is a good driving experience, good visibility, you know, I I think if, you, again, if you're gonna buy a Ford truck for work, or you're gonna buy a truck for work, you're gonna buy a Ford truck. I mean, it's just, what they have going on here is just such amazing stuff. And beyond technology stuff, but overall capability is insane. Yeah, I've been going like Bob no hands. Right. <laughs> Professional driver, closed course, don't try this home. So when you get into one of our higher trim trucks, we have the um, adaptive cruise control with stop and go that works with trailers. Okay. And we also have lane centering without a trailer and we bring lane keep with a trailer. So it'll keep you in your lane with a trailer. Right. So we're gonna turn um, right up here. Which lane keep is really actually beneficial in a situation where a lot of wind. Right. So if you have a lot of crosswinds, the lane keep actually lets, it's not as driver fatiguing as it normally would be if you didn't have the system on. Um, I might have passed that white line. <laughs> you don't have any uh, proven there, ground police. There's no, there's okay. no police out here, yeah. So, I mean, who would have thought we get the 40,000 pounds? So, I mean, how long have you been Ford? I've been at Ford for 23 years now. So, when you first started, what was the max towing? Do you remember? It was like 12.5. <laughs> I have a 2002 Super Duty that's rated for 12.5. That's yeah. all it was. I, think, I mean, think about how far we've come with that. Yeah. That's now half ton. And I, I laugh because in the back sticker, or the back window, it's got a sticker that says 525 foot pounds of torque. <laughs> <laughs> that's that, a half ton. That, yeah. That's, <laughs> yes. <laughs> And that was big back then, right? That oh, was yeah. that was a big deal. Yeah, yeah, huge deal. Five hundred twenty. Now we have twelve hundred. Yeah, it's you know if you haven't if you haven't bought a truck in twenty years, you've never bought a new truck. You're really missing out. New trucks, just they're so much more confident. Do so much more capability. So much more creature comforts. So more technology that I know. I don't want more dashes and screens in there. But if you haven't used them, you don't know what you're missing. There's so much going on here that is beneficial to you, the driver that you just don't understand. Yeah, we always call it the truck is your wingman. The truck's your partner. Yeah. And we're really, truly trying to uh, make the truck your partner to take the 
the hard work out of towing, make it easy, make it enjoyable. It's, life is about the ride, right? It's about the journey. It's not about doing work all the time. So right. let yeah. the truck help you. Well, not, especially if you have like a contractor business, you don't want your guys like being hot in the cabin or not having a way to plug in their phone or not having a way that the system set, set up. You want those guys to be confident when they're doing their jobs. So it's one less stress around them. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, so some of the things, um, right now, so are you familiar with the blind spot monitors? I am. Okay, so those are in the taillights, and when you have a fifth wheel gooseneck, you can see how the front of the trailer is going to block the area that it wants to check. So what we can do is add these port accessories for the um, blind spot monitors. The radar base, they talk with the rest of the vehicle, and now it covers that full suite of the trailer. So, so we have two different connections right now in the truck. There's the regular seven pin uh, that does your trailer brakes and your lights. And then we have a 12 pin and that handles all the tech of the trailer. So on this one, for example, we have the uh, blind spot monitor that'll go through the 12 pin. We have the camera that'll go through the 12 pin. And this trailer also has the TPMS. So it monitors the tire, the trailer tires, pressure and temperature. So as you're going down the road, if it starts heating up or something, you can pull off and see what's causing the problem before you end up losing a tire. So those kinds of things just feed into the ecosystem of the truck and it becomes the one-stop shop for you. Have you seen all the camera views when you did that? Uh, yeah, I think we went through the camera views. I did it on the, uh, the, PD, the PDQ RD, okay. whatever thing was. But so yeah. this is the side-by-side -side, and then if you hit this, we can do a picture-in-picture. Okay, and right. depending on what you initially picked as the default, it would have that as the bigger screen. Yeah, well, we'll do this again. No, information's power. More information. So picture to picture and different screens. So what's the one? Well, that that, that was the blind spot on the, on the other trailer. Yes. Yeah. So would that show me on here or show me on there? So the blind spot will actually show you in your rear view in your side mirror. Okay. All right. So whether you're towing or you're not, you get the same indicator. You don't have to learn different things when you're towing. We've integrated it also. At re you drive the truck and, and it's just, just drive, the same yeah, thing. Right, so that, that, that's right. It's not a camera, it's a blind spot monitoring that you can bolt onto the side. And is it hardwired to the... Yes, it's one of those, it's the 12 pin that handles the technology right. of the trailer into the truck. It's been a long day. Yes. I, I can't believe how you guys can remember all the stuff that gets thrown at you. So oh, this is this is simple compared to some events. <laughs> Holy cow! Uh, yeah. So this time we have this selected as our primary. If I come up here and I select the back one, you can see. And then uh, if I do picture in picture, you get that as your primary you inside. Flip this around. Okay. And you yep. can hit this too, if you want to just do a flip at the time. Yeah, what you're doing. the camera stuff is really cool and it's really useful. Um, does that turn off at a certain speed? No. It turns it on all the time. Really? I thought that was a uh, NHTSA thing. Yeah, we've been able to, oh, I, no. uh, not, I won't say bypass, get agreement that um, the value and the safety associated with this overrides the, um, so just like in your mirror. Right, we have the view of a mirror. It's the same, same logic idea that we used. Yeah. Okay, was that a new thing? Uh, yeah. I feel like that was, because I feel like in years past, it would turn above off 25. Speed. Yeah, so this stays on at all times. Yes. Interesting. Yep, yeah. and we can even check um, the bed of the truck. Uh, oops, let me come back in and get out of picture in picture. If I want to check the bed of the truck to make sure my gear's still stable. I'm not losing gear in the back, same kind of thing. We don't want customer stuff to be flying out, right. causing an accident and things, so. Interesting. So yes, we can do all of those now. Huh. And there's my, is anything coming loose? Yeah, so that's, <laughs> this is the interesting thing. This is the, the pintle hitch, like you said. And you see that pintle hitch, I gotta paint it. Sliding, attitude, yeah. yep. You see that sliding around, which is just fascinating to see that. And that, you know, again, in the right situation, the right customer, uh, with the right equipment, you may want that because you may want uneven terrain. You said mil usually contractors or militaries using that as far as trailering that kind of stuff, so you can actually exactly. see that. So that's interesting that you guys got the over. Oh, so there's an override in NHTSA because I was always taught that it wasn't a, it was a safety and issue. It's not. I'm not with our safety office, so I don't know if that's something that NHTSA is now wide up. or yeah, yeah exactly. Well, yeah, okay. So.
All right, so up to 7% grade. Oh, yeah, punch put it. into it. I'll let you know when to back off just because oh, at the squirrel. top it's a little bit small. Stay they normally squirrel. go off to the side because of the noise, but. <laughs> I was going to say, if you don't hear this coming, you're a yeah. deaf squirrel. Yep. <laughs> That's called Darwin, right? <laughs> <laughs> right? Yeah. So, yeah. It's great having the gearing up top and the HUD display and the RPMs and the mile per hour. So let's back down just because you have a small Right, and that turn, yeah. yeah. And you have the, the dummy gauges plus uh, real numbers too, yep. all in one screen. You're not having the... I and it's okay. configurable, so you don't care about engine braking if you're off-roading. Right. So we can switch that out to a different gauge that you might be more interested in. Exactly, yeah. That's interesting. Are we going back down or did I do a UA? We can go back down, yeah, that's yeah. fine. We'll go yep. back down. Sorry, we got And then we can do the hill route if you have time. If not, we can just head back. Nope, gotta head back. Okay. Time is of the essence. Gotcha. Okay, we're going down. I blew the stop sign. Luckily, there's no police here. Hey, it's not that. a stop sign if there's no police. <laughs> right? <laughs> it's like the referee in uh, baseball, <laughs> basketball, soccer, right? It's not Did a foul. If, it doesn't, if <laughs> the ref called it, it's a travel. If you didn't, you didn't travel. Exactly. <laughs> it's not legal. You don't get caught. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. We're going to stick to that one. Yeah, that's don't my quote story. And I'm sticking though. to it. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I've never broken a law. <laughs> <laughs> Exhaust brakes kicking on. You can definitely hear that. Holding the speed. 7% downgrade. 34 35 miles an hour foots off the brake it's controlling it going down what's nice there's not much sway the pintle hitch is working pretty well you can i can feel it i bet you i hit the brakes here i can feel it coming forward it'll downshift again yep yeah and so i one can feel that a little bit yeah one of the neat things that we have is um when our engine brakes kicking in like that we'll actually turn on the trailer lights so that the person behind you oh. knows you're going to slow down as opposed to you slowing down, down and, and no they, indication yeah. and stuff. So, so. Uh, brakes on exhaust, but that's, that's critical too. It's so funny, all these things that you think about, like, and then you think to yourself, like, why weren't we doing that before? And you it's can not, feel it. Yeah, you can feel it. And it's I can still feel under it control. You can hear that boom, boom occasionally, but it's still, it's still attached. Yeah. It's fine. Yep. It's designed for that. Yeah, which is just interesting. But when you're towing this much weight, or I could see like a skid steer, yep, flatbed trailer on a construction site. I mean that. The, the biggest thing, you know, I understand all the towing numbers, the massive forty thousand pound kind of stuff. To me, it's the braking. Yeah. How much the braking has improved over the last twenty years? Like yeah. if, if and the thing is, if you're not buying a new truck and you're not shopping for one, you never even experienced one. If you don't get a new truck and actually drive it, you wouldn't. You'd be, you'd be shocked how well the brakes stop and how well they stop not just stop like stop get on it with how smooth they are and how it composed it is yeah so as you get to the stop sign we'll actually uh, balance the braking so that you don't get that hard stop and stuff it's it's interesting because to your point the wow factor that everybody talks about is how quick you can accelerate the yeah. hill but the oh crap factor is I didn't stop in time. <laughs> exactly. So we spend way more focus on the stopping aspect. It's not how fast you go towing, it's how well you stop. Yep. You have to be in control. Yeah, exactly. Otherwise your emotions are totally different. <laughs> you yes. might have bragging rights that I can pull this. Right. But right. you have a different emotion if you can't stop it. I might have to use the boys' room. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yep. Yeah, I might and have to. We'd rather issue. avoid that. Yeah, no, I don't want to do that at all. That's that's not a thing. Yeah. Uh, this is very cool. It's uh, it's just, again, very impressive what these trucks will do. All right, there you go. There are the videos I have for you on towing the Ford Super Duty. Again, multiple videos over here. There's off-road, there's technology. Um, I decided to cut out the on-road driving experience because it was raining and the camera was doing its thing. And I really want to have more time driving around than just a 30, 40 mile hour loop. So I want to spend more time with that behind the wheel when I get it for a press loan later on this year and give you more details on the on-road towing experience. But for more, check the videos over here, like I said, off-road and technology. Website down below as well, pickuptrucktalk.com. Always good information in there. As always, thanks for watching. I will see you down the road.